This guy came in with one of the craziest things I've ever seen. He bought a go-kart for 500 bucks and told me the guy who sold it to him said it turned on, but it's been sitting for so long, it probably just needs to be cleaned. So I checked it out and everything was there. The engine, the clutch, the gas tank, and even the brakes worked, but something about it seemed fishy because these go-karts sell for well over $1,500. So the fact that he bought it for 500 bucks was kind of sus. Regardless, he was cool enough to leave it with me until I figured out what was wrong with it. And since the battery was completely drained, I had to buy a new one and try cranking it over. Not surprisingly, it didn't want to start up. But at least it didn't sound like anything was broken So I pre-mixed the fuel 16 to 1 And poured in a full tank of gas and still nothing The next step was to check the spark plug to see if it was corroded And at first it looked a little dirty But not enough to prevent it from starting So I just brushed it off and put it back in And once again, nothing At this point I felt like discouraged Because not even starting fluid was helping fire it up Not knowing what to do, I checked all the wires running from the engine to the tachometer And there wasn't anything missing, ripped or broken But for some reason I had a feeling that it was electrical So I go back and double check the spark plug And not even kidding, as I'm careful inspecting it i noticed a hairline crack below one of the threads and it was the biggest sense of relief ever it was so small that even the tiniest gauge on my valve checking tool didn't fit through and if i would have never double checked it i would have never found it i ended up buying a new spark plug and it took a couple cranks to get it going but it started up right away my guess is that the previous owner probably over tightened the spark plug and thought he cracked the cylinder head or something and instead of checking it just sold it to cut his losses which is crazy because the guy that brought it to me bought a $1,500 go-kart for 500 bucks when all I needed was a brand new spark plug. Some people just get really lucky. So lucky that he deserved my first world label sticker parody of the California Clean Idol sticker found on semi-trucks, which plays homage to the days of when I was a truck driver. But what makes it cool is that it has a QR code that links to my Instagram. So if any of you guys want one, let me know and I'll ship one out to you.